Hi there, I'm Vincent Boss and I provide dating and self-improvement advice. And in today's podcast, we're going to be discussing This shocks your ex after they dump you. I provide audio coaching for breakup recovery, trying to get an ex back, attracting someone new and life coaching. Visit www.dateme.tips for more details. Please check your spam and junk folders if you are expecting an email from me. So now let's get back into today's podcast. And today we are discussing this shocks your ex after they dump you. So if you have been dumped and want to try to get your ex back, you would likely think for your ex as a stable mindset after they end your relationship. However, this is often not the case. In today's podcast, I'll be discussing three things that shock your ex after they dump you. So let's get straight into this. And point number one is they feel bad. Now, this isn't going to be for every single dumper. In fact, I generally believe that most dumpers do not want to hurt their dumpy when they end a relationship. Most dumpers do not want to cause their ex pain, but they just feel that they can no longer continue with the relationship and therefore they have to end it. However, even if a dumper does not want to hurt their dumpy, they're not necessarily going to be thinking that they'll be feeling all that bad after the breakup has taken place. Yes, they might recognise that during the breakup, they might be feeling somewhat awkward, they don't want to hurt your feelings, they feel like this isn't really something they wanted to do, but sadly they felt they needed to do, But most dumpers will be imagining that after the breakup is settled, they'll be feeling okay because they're making a decision that this is what they actually wanted, felt they needed to do. But one of the things that often shocks a dumper after they end a relationship is that they feel as bad as they actually start to feel. And it's not just a feeling about breaking your heart, although this certainly comes into it, but it's a feeling of almost emptiness. Now, when an ex ends a relationship, they often enter what we refer to as the relief stage. A feeling of, ah, okay, I've managed to do the thing that I was dreading. I didn't really want to end a relationship. I felt I had to. Now I've done this. You know, this seems like the hardest part. I've done it. I've ended it. I'm now feeling relief. But relief also can come with some mixed emotions. And this is where the bad can come into play. An ex that ends a relationship has not got a plan moving forward where they can actually understand exactly how they're going to be feeling because until you do something, you don't truly know how you will respond to what you have done. It's a bit like if you imagine tasting a new food, okay? You look at the food, you get a feeling what you might imagine is going to taste like and how it's going to make you feel. However, when you eat that food, when you taste that food, it's only then that you really understand what the taste feels like. And this is exactly the same. Somebody ends a relationship, they don't exactly know how they're going to feel beyond that. They might imagine that they'll feel a certain emotion, but generally speaking, it's not exactly how they predict it. And even though dumpers often do move into a relief stage, initially post-breakup, this can be mixed within a feeling of them not feeling like they've done a good thing in regarding in your relationship, but also an emptiness, as I describe, is where they would say to themselves, I'm feeling quite bad, you know, I don't feel good, I don't feel great. So even though there might be some relief there, the feeling of emptiness, the feeling that they hurt you, the feeling that they're now on a path which is somewhat unknown, maybe you were telling them how much that you loved them, maybe you were telling them that you really wanted to try and work things out, maybe you apologised for something, and all of these thoughts and feelings are going to be through your ex dumper's mind during this time, and confusing them in a point where they feel somewhat muddled up. And this is why I would say dumpers can feel bad, it's a shock. They end your relationship, they dump you, They should be feeling in a way that they've got it all figured out now. They know what they're going to do. They know how it's going to be. But that is not the case. Yes, they might feel relief. Yes, they might feel that they had to do it. But it doesn't remove the thoughts that they actually feel kind of negative right now. And the feeling that they're not going to be moving forward with all this positivity 
that they probably felt that they was going to have is a shock, you know? And that is why I think point number one of the shocks that your ex has after dumping you, we certainly have to mention that they feel bad. So now let's get into point number two and the second point of today's podcast. Please like this video if you're watching on YouTube and subscribe to the channel. And point number two, it's hard to find a relationship. So when somebody ends a connection, even though they might not straight away be thinking, well, I want to find somebody new, that, of course, is going to be somewhat part of a long-term plan. You know, I'm not trying to scare dumpies. I'm not trying to make you, as a dumpy listening now, thinking, okay, my ex is dating somebody new. My ex is looking for somebody new. I'm not saying they're doing that right now, okay? But let's be honest about this. Let's think about this logically. If somebody ends a relationship... They're not planning on staying single forevermore. So even though it might be months, if not years, at some point your expert dumper is going to imagine that they will meet somebody that they believe is going to be quote unquote more compatible with them at this stage of their life moving forward. So this isn't trying to scare dumpies into thinking that your ex has dumped you yesterday and we're looking for somebody new tomorrow. But the reality is at some point, they are likely to look and try and find somebody new. But here comes the second shock of today's podcast. Shocks that your ex will feel after dumping you. And that is point number two. It's hard to find a relationship. And this is because it's very hard to find a long-term compatible partner. Now, I'm not here to say that your ex can't go on a few dates. I'm not here to say that your ex might go on a dating app and and meet somebody new somewhat quickly after deciding to join those apps. I'm not saying that's not possible, but what I am saying is the likelihood of them finding a long-term compatible partner, well, that's really hard to do, and it's very unlikely that they would do it anytime soon. From my research, it's very unlikely that somebody will find a new long-term compatible partner within a year or so, of a prior relationship ending. So let's just put that into context. That means that if you were dumped last month, it's not likely that your expert dumper will find a long-term compatible partner until pretty much this time next year. Now, of course, we can't set our watch to this. This isn't an exact science. It's just based on the research that I've done myself. And therefore, there are going to be those abnormalities which unfortunately might come into play. But by and large, I would suggest that your expert dumper is not likely to find anybody long-term compatible for at least a year. And when I say at least a year, that means exactly what it sounds like. It doesn't mean that they're going to find somebody after 13 months necessarily. It could be two years. It could be three years. Now, if you find out that your expert dumper is dating somebody new within a few weeks or months after your breakup, the likelihood is this will end up being a rebound relationship. And a rebound relationship has many red flags, one of which is that somebody's dating someone new soon after a breakup. That's the first red flag. The second red flag is that the relationship moves very, very quickly, much quicker potentially than you and your ex went. So maybe you hear on the grapevine, maybe you hear by social media, maybe you hear by a friend of a friend. However it is, you might hear that your expert dumper is dating somebody new and they seem to be moving along quicker than you were. And you're worried. You're thinking, well, this means that they love this new person more. They must be more compatible with this new person. Well, actually, it's another one of those rebound relationship red flags because unless you get to know somebody at a steady pace, it's unlikely that this is going to last the test of time. And therefore, if you're rushing things, you can't be getting to know them at the appropriate pace. The pace you move things along needs to match the pace at which you've known somebody, the length of time. If it doesn't marry up that way, then they're not going to be getting married. Okay, think of it like that. So if you find out your expert dumper is dating somebody new weeks or months after your breakup, the likelihood is, although we can't guarantee it, the likelihood is that this relationship will end as soon as it began. Meaning, if it seemed to start very suddenly, then the likelihood is it's going to end just as suddenly, out of the blue, bang, the relationship has ended. Maybe you hear by social media, maybe you hear by a friend of a friend, but the chances are that you will hear that this relationship ended. And therefore, 
your mindset can rest somewhat and you can try to move forward with your own life and focus on your own goals and aspirations rather than considering what your ex is doing all the time because the chances are this is not going to last for them if you've been split up just a few weeks or months and they are dating somebody new. Try and rest your mindset, concentrate on you, grow as a person, because if you want to try to get your ex back, you need to be in the best possible position if and when they're single again. If you're stressing about your ex dating somebody new, then you're not going to be focusing on you, you're not going to be growing as a person, you're not going to be in that best possible position that you need to be if and when your ex becomes single once more. Think of it like that. You know, I can't guarantee your ex will end this relationship or be dumped themselves, but what I am saying is it's very likely that they won't be with this person forevermore. Now, again, I can't guarantee that you and your ex will get back together, but what I can say is that if you're not ready, if you're not prepared, if you're not your ex's best potential option at that time, then you certainly won't be able to get them back if and when they're single again. So remember what I'm saying here, you know, this shocks your ex after they dump you. And that is point number two. It's hard to find a relationship. It's not easy. They may have thought to themselves, I've ended this connection. Yes, it meant something to me. It's not feeling right at the moment. So I'm going to end it, but I'm going to find somebody new. It's not that easy. They're going to find it a challenge. They're going to find it a struggle. They're going to find it much tougher than most dumpers expect and that is why it's something that certainly shocks them after they dump you. Now if you would like advice and support about how to try and increase the chance of one day getting your ex back then you may want to consider my audio coaching service where I mean you can speak one-on-one about your unique specific situation. Go to my website www.dateme.tips for more information about how I can become your coach and your teammates via my audio coaching service. So now let's get into point number three and the final point of today's podcast about this shocks your ex after they dump you. And point number three is they want you back. Now, of course, as I've just said a moment ago, there is no guaranteed way to get your ex back. And sadly, some dumpies won't get their dumper back into a relationship. But what I will say is that a lot of the time, dumpers have a mindset change where they do want their dumpy back. Now, this isn't necessarily going to be all dumpers. And as I said, even if they do feel this for a moment or two, it doesn't mean, sadly, that all of you will reconnect. But it's going to cross their mind, and it's going to cross their mind most of the time for a dumper's perspective. And the reason for this is that if we consider points number one about how your expert dumper is feeling bad when they least expect it, And when we consider point number two about how hard it has been for them to find a new relationship, we often get to point number three where your expert dumper will certainly have it cross their mind that they want you back because they will feel they are at a crossroads. They're going to be considering, do I continue to move forward down a new path, even though it's been much tougher than I expected? Or do I go back to somewhat familiar territory with somebody who I know loves me? Maybe I feel I've made a big error of judgment. Perhaps I've found out that they've improved, grown, and are a lot more attractive than I felt they were. Do I go to that familiar path? You know, that familiar path can feel very, very appealing, especially if you're having a tough time. Now, you might be thinking, well, I don't want my expert dumper back just if they're feeling it's a difficult route for them to be going for them not meeting somebody new but don't think of it like that just think of it as a reality check your expert dumper is finding out it's hard to find somebody better than you because you were great and guess what you become even better post breakup think of it in that positive sense so most of the time i would say a shock that hits a dumper hard is that at a point during their post breakup journey they will want you back Now, this might be a momentary thought. This might be something which goes through their mind. They consider trying to reconnect in, but it doesn't work out. Or this could be something which is the first seed sown of you getting back together and living happily ever after. And this, I would say, somewhat depends on your behaviour and your attitude. When they approach this crossroads, have you done everything you can to put yourself in that best possible position? Because when they are considering do I really try to get my ex back? I feel like I want them back right now. Or do I continue 
down a new path as tough as it has been. When they're at that crossroads, often it's your behaviour dumpies, which is going to be that final point to where they decide to go left or right. That final element of where they consider what choice to make is often due to your behaviour. Have you been chasing your ex? Have you been hassling your ex? Have you been causing your ex distress during the post-breakup time frame? Have you been problematic? Have you lowered your own value? If you've done these things, they're not likely to decide to reach out to you. They're not likely to go with that thought. They might think, yeah, you know, I do kind of miss my ex. I, I kind of feel like I want to be back with my ex. But look what they've done post-breakup. They've treated me like this. They've said that. I'm really worried about their mindset. I don't think they're stable. You know, if you have got yourself into that kind of position, your ex dumper might actually talk themselves out of missing you. They might talk themselves out of reaching out to you. They might think, well, I know I'm feeling like I miss my ex, but this is a bad choice. You know, I, I don't feel this will be a safe option for me. Now, if you have done this, then sadly, your ex dumper is going to be less likely to decide to reach out to you. Now, nothing is guaranteed. And even if you have behaved in a way which now you look back on and go, yeah, you know, I was was kind of chasing my ex. I was stalking my ex. I was sometimes even when you've done this behavior, sometimes they will still reach out to you. And if that is the case, you have been lucky and you need to learn the lesson of behaving in that way is not going to provide you with a safe, comfortable and long lasting relationship. Okay, you need to try to get your mindset as stable as possible. This is where talk therapy can be very helpful and you need to focus on you growing as a person and improving. Now, however, if you have done everything right, if you've done the best you can, if you lived your life in the right way, if you have stopped chasing your ex, if you've not caused any problems, if you've improved yourself to become version 2.0, you become a very attractive option for your dumper and an option that they might decide to go to at the crossroads. Now, please remember, I'm not talking about the breakup itself. The breakup itself is going to be an emotional. Things would have been said. That's okay. That's natural. That's understandable. We're not talking about then. Okay, you may have said some things in the days or weeks after the breakup. We're not talking about then. Okay, what we're talking about is if you've been causing your ex dumper distress in the months after post-breakup. That's when the problems arise. So don't worry if it was just at the breakup. It's natural, it's understandable, you can get through that. It's how you behave post-breakup in the months following, which will likely dictate the final decision that your dumper makes. But that is certainly a shock that your dumper can have. The thoughts that they've ended a relationship with you, and a while later, they actually want you back. If you believe that this podcast has helped you, then please consider buying me a coffee. The link to do so is in the description.